okay. in between the side and side of your vagina into the situation look at that okay i'm about to film another video first of all this is what i got on okay like this is what it is and to my i just what's the point of putting on pants i'm likely gonna change i'm not gonna wear this today <laughs> you know hi right, so got my fragrances still have my makeup and stuff here haven't even moved it because i don't need to this is my fragrance setup and i'm gonna talk about it right here on the camera and the camera is right here i've been filming here i explained it i explained it in my last vlog all right setup situation camera newer light all the things okay hi not me scrambling to so i did finish that video and now i need to log in so that they can help me where are we i guess when i log not i guess when i log in they'll know that i'm ready it's like with my therapy appointment you have to log in then she knows that you're ready all right I logged in. Yes, I am. They gotta call me. They charge my phone. My phone is low. Where's the charger? Oh, here it is. The, the, the cord looks different. Here's my charger. Okay, good. So they gotta call. I thought it was gonna be a video call, but that's okay. <clears throat> Got my laptop. <clears throat> I love having the ability to use two different devices to do two different things because my, my desktop is often overloaded because I edit on here. And you know how editing goes. You know that it takes up a lot of what's it called, memory or whatever. I don't know, I don't know all the terms now, okay? Oh <laughs> yeah, they ain't gonna call me. Hold on. Hello? Hello, welcome to Quickbooks Live. Yo, not me playing restaurant <laughs> background music. I am recurling or reactivating my curls with this Garnier product. I'm watching Tamara Renee in my ear that I'm about to go film. I was gonna put on my straight wig, but I wore it the other day and it was raining. And it did get I did get some sprinkles on my head a little bit, even though even though I put my hoodie on and it was uh, basically the hair's not straight anymore, it's wavy. So I said, you know what? Rather than me trying to fix it and make that look decent, I'll just put on my curly wig. So here we are with this one. Just reactivating it right here, making it look like I just took a shot. I mean I did just take a shot, but you know, making the hair look like I just washed it. Giving that look. Maybe I should have done mousse. Do I have a mousse? I don't have a mousse, do I? I don't. Anyway, I made, I just been a cooking, cooking lately today. Did a beautiful breakfast spread, and then we. I just made stuffed peppers. Is it my first time making stuffed peppers? Maybe it's my second time. I believe I made it once when I was, back when I was single, new to Houston. That was a long time ago. But last night, let me pause it because I can't concentrate. But last night I was looking on YouTube and I stumbled on these healthy eating channels and I learned about anti-inflammatory food. And I was like, yeah, I need more veggies, man. So I ordered Instacart to come this morning. In it, I ordered the bell peppers and I had already, I already had ground beef. I was also looking up low carb meals. I was watching Dr. Berg's videos. I already had ground beef, so I said, you know, okay, I'm gonna make stuffed bell peppers. I'm also gonna make a keto pizza later where you do the cheese and the egg as the crust, and then you put the cheese and the toppings on top later. I've done it before, twice years ago, and I stopped. I don't know why. So I'm gonna do that later, and yeah, I need to film, and I just wanna look and feel cute. So styling my hair styling up my hair to then go film i'm filming in the oops, i'm filming in the bathroom i'm about to do reels and then i'm gonna film the campaign that i have to actually film so i'm getting ready for it to film a campaign but while i get ready because it just makes the most sense you make the most out of what you're doing i'm gonna film reels while i get ready look how wet this looks i just love it gives that wet look you know Although I just wish that this was in a bigger spray bottle. Like, what is this? 
can I make this on my own? Because I need more. I really do need more. I've been going through this so fast. Is there a way that I can make my own? Because I have those, the continuous spray bottle where you spray and then it just keeps on going like that. I have that bottle. So can I, should I make my own concoction? Like, should I take, I used to buy those hair oils from the beauty supply. This is so nappy back here. This wig needs to be washed. I used to buy those hair oils where you can just buy shea butter oil, just buy tea tree oil, blah, blah, blah. So I wonder if I should make my own concoction. But it's not going to make it anti-frizz though. And that's what I need. Because putting spray oil on your wig does not mean that it's going to also make it an anti-frizz situation. So if I made my own organically, I would still get frizzy. Girl, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. I'll be going through these. Like, well, I guess I just have to continue to do that. I don't know. But I like how this looks. It's looking very wet. You know? Sometimes I feel like I wish this wig was more dense. But no, man, it's good. Like, it's it's good. I've had this wig, what, almost two years now? Or is it two years? I don't know. AliExpress, girl. Whatever. So, that's what I got going on right now. I need to do my nails. I used to do my nails a lot. Have you noticed? I haven't done my nails as much. <laughs> I phased out. I don't know. You know, life happens. I phased out, but I do need to do... I My toes have not been done since my birthday when I went to Mexico and I went to the, hair, the nail salon to get my nails done. I still have that polish on. The French. Thank God it's just French because you can't tell that it's so grown out unless you're really close to my toes. If it were a color, oh, it'd be looking crazy. But it was French, so you can't tell. But it's very grown out, so I need to, I need to redo it. I just want to redo it for myself, you know, just for me. So I'm gonna do that this weekend for sure. I'm grabbing some of this hair. I just use the spray. I don't always do the, what you call it, the stick, the wax stick. I don't always do that, you know. I be keeping it real simple, baby. Honest to God. Y'all might be like, uh, you change your hair all the time. I do. I do change my hair often, but when I do, I really do be keeping it simple, though. I don't be doing the most. Not always. Yo, good morning. I, okay, so I put my hair in a bun and I don't like it. Um, bye. Bye bye. I'm going to take this down. Yeah, it's just a no for me. I did this quickly yesterday and I thought it was going to be something, but I don't like it. I could have made my bun bigger, but I'm just over the whole bun thing right now. And it's tight. So really and truly, buns should not be in my hair for a long time anyway. It's tight. It causes breakage, whatever. It was a wet style that I did. <clears throat> I'm going to change this. I'm going to shower right now. I was working on a Peloton today and what I hate is that sometimes when I'm on that thing, it, what is it, what is it called when it trips, it trips the cable? Is that what it's called? When the, you know, when that outlet causes everything or the, the device causes everything on that strip to turn off. And I have plugged the Peloton into a different area and it still does that. I love seeing my ends now because it's clear that I had a haircut. It's my ends are now I know what healthy ends look like and what healthy ends don't look like. Now I know because I just look at my poof and I, I it just looks so much better. So much better. So I love that I got I love that I got a haircut. I was so tempted to schedule a silk press and oh God, yo, know, honestly driving 40 minutes to go and take out all this time in my day it is sometimes an inconvenience so i didn't schedule it but who knows i might just do it randomly one day we'll see but i am getting my hair braided next week <laughs> i'm gonna keep it in i'm gonna keep the braids in for a week and that's gonna be that on that i Excuse me. So yeah, I did a workout. It wasn't as long as I wanted it to be today because the thing shut off. I'm going to, I'm going to shower. I have content to create. I, today's supposed to be a relaxing day, but it ain't going to be that relaxing. It ain't going to be that relaxing because it's already 930. Like what in the world? And then me has soccer practice, all the things. So, yo, do you watch Kings of Napa? I started watching it and I like it. I love the fashions. I love, <laughs> yo, the storyline is like, what? I, but I like it though. It's a, 
It's not as salacious as Green Leaf, of course, but it is good. I do enjoy it. So I'm watching Kings and Napa, honey, on my computer. I have Fubo, Fubo TV. You heard of that? That's what I use to record shows. I don't watch anything when it's live. I watch it all later on my own time because I don't be having time for this. So yeah, I'm doing that. I'm about to go shower, do my skincare, and start start my day. Yeah. Yeah. Wearing my wearing my house sweatshirt. Yo, this is the house sweatshirt. I just don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> okay, so two things that I've yet to tell you about. I just ordered my contacts again because this is my last actual pair. But not only that, I've been my eyes have been so itchy. And this contact right here is bothering me, so they should be here in five to seven days. I hope they get here quickly. Two things. I have been using... Have you seen those commercials? I haven't seen them in so long, so I feel like the, the, the campaign is over with. You know, companies will do a campaign on different social media sites to run their ads for a certain amount of time, for a certain demographic, whatever. And I was seeing the Lumi commercials all the time for a certain period of time. I mean, every YouTube video I watched, I would see the Lumi commercial. But then again, I also recently signed up for YouTube Premium, so I don't see any commercials now, so that could be it. Anyway, I used to always see these commercials for Lumi. I know you've seen them. If I've seen them, you have seen them. Can you see this? I bought this sample pack that gave me all the different scents or yeah because they're different scents so this is 72 hour odor control you know sometimes you're just like okay come on commercial but I wanted to try it because it's made by a dermatologist OBGYN and she was saying that you can put this anywhere so in between the side and side of your vagina armpits if you have rolls if you're heavy you have rolls anywhere anywhere that traps odor because we've talked about odor body odor being the result of sweat and bacteria so when the sweat and the bacteria interact that's when you have funk so right you know you have an antiperspirant to help you not sweat but like those don't work for me and then you have a deodorant to kill the odor sometimes you have a, a product that is both okay this is a deodorant it is for the whole body it says literally on here deodorant for underarms and private parts baby so i was like if she's an OBGYN and she's saying that you can put this in your private parts i mean i was not putting it inside my vaginal canal but you know like i said the side inside because when you sit in and all of that it, it's gonna sweat even if and i used to be like but i'm not sweating like my body is not sweating but it will get just a little why do you think we have <laughs> our underarm odor right like it doesn't mean that you're dripping down sweat after a three mile run but there's some perspiration happening throughout the day so i've tried this under my underarm first of all the whole idea is strange because it's a cream so it feels like but don't i need a rolling thing but it actually does work now i did use this once when i went to a photo shoot and i was a little bit musty afterward but like just being around the house and stuff this is good now i haven't used this in the dead of the houston summer but i do plan on using it this one's almost done i think it came in a six pack or a five pack of the different scents now this stuff smells disgusting to me i have a very strong sense of smell this is disgusting even though the scent is sweet lily there are different kinds it's absolutely wretched and i don't know what it is inside of it but the thing itself smells to me okay it smells but once it's on you i don't smell this on me okay so somehow it just it just figures itself out this thing is, smells nasty so when i'm applying it i'm just like ugh, gross so um of course you can do your armpits like i said look at right it says whole body deodorant fit feet pits and private parts so if you have foot odor if you have children whose feet be all smelly obviously you wash their shoes wash their sneakers but if they still got that odor it's because of bacteria we can shower and shower and shower and shower but still have bacteria on our bodies so something like this will kill the bacteria that's why i was telling you about panoxyl which is a salicylic what is, is it a ba it's an aha product and that kills bacteria on the face for i just got sorry i just got hungry so my, my energy went down <laughs> that kills the bacteria on the face that causes acne right and you can still use it on your chest your back your armpits to kill bacteria which will cause body odor or on your ch your chest and your back bacteria that will cause acne or chest acne so this is the same thing basically made for this specifically and it includes privates 
<laughs> it's aluminum free, baking soda free, and naturally scented. Yo, naturally scented stuff sometimes is so disgusting. Okay, so yeah, you put a pea size amount, fingertip, dispense onto fingertip a small pea sized amount, and apply externally anywhere on the body. So externally, not inside your vagina, girl. That's a whole different story. You got a little odor going on, and it goes here, OBGYN. There shouldn't be an odor. There's a natural body scent, but it shouldn't be an odor. Okay, that's different. And we've all been there. But yeah, this stuff is good, yo. This stuff is good. So I just applied some right now. Girl, you can put this wherever, honey. Externally, okay, but wherever. We ain't trying to have issues like that. And then this other thing that I've been using is from Topicals. This is a high roller. Ingrown, to ingrown tonic, okay? So this has salicylic acid, glycolic acid, niacinamide, and zinc PCA. So it softens, soothes, and reduces discomfort caused by ingrown hairs. So I imagine that this can be used on top of your vagina, not obviously inside, not like toward the bottom. You see what I'm saying? So if you shave or nair or wax or whatever, you get ingrown hairs. And then of course, on the armpit. So I used this today. Now, because of the actives in here, the salicylic, glycolic, niacinamide, zinc, I'm feeling a little bit of, not, it's not bothering me, but you know how you put some deodorants on and it's kind of like making you itch a little bit of kind of, just a little bit of irritation, but it's nothing that's, look at me, it's not that's terrible. I feel it because I know that there's some kind of medicine in here. This does not have a scent to it. The thing about this and how I'm, why I'm using this is because Sometimes it's our deodorants that are causing some kind of irritation and causing darkness under our armpits. That's number one. Number two, the reason why we have underarm odor is because what? Bacteria and sweat collide and then it causes body odor. So I'm, extra, I'm trying out the idea that if I cancel out the bacteria under my armpits, it's not a one time and then you're good for life thing, but you got to continue. If I cancel out the bacteria in my armpits, then I don't need a deodorant because a deodorant is going to give me a scent to my armpits, right? But if I'm canceling out the bacteria by using this salicylic acid, glycolic acid product, the niacinamide will help lighten up dark spots, then I should be good, right? So I've been using this for the past few days. I'm gonna see what it do. You feel what I'm saying? But once you understand the different chemicals and what they do, you can really make this stuff your own. I'm not saying that I don't believe in deodorant. I don't believe in antiperspirant. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that I'm trying out new things. Yo, good morning. Oh, <laughs> my tasks. Remember how I said that I, I'm using the task function on Google? Well, it pops up with an alert, so my, my tasks are popping up. And when I have tasks tasks set for the day and not necessarily for a certain time, they all pop up at nine o'clock. So that was that noise. So I'm about to, I'm in the middle of actually filming a reel of me getting ready, but you know with the reels, they're chop, chop, chop. And then I'm talking to you. And then I'm going to start actually filming YouTube videos today. I want to be better about batch filming because sometimes I might film one video in a day, sometimes two, sometimes three, but I really want to get to like five because in that case, then I don't need to film YouTube videos three days. I won't need to film three days a week because I have three days set out and depending on the video it really is possible to film that much in a day of course with me starting early so today my goal is to simply film a lot the light is going in and out it's on auto I'm in front of the you know the whole shebang okay so I plugged in my hair dryer I'm doing a ponytail today I haven't done a ponytail in a long time I'm bored with my hair you know I like changing things up so I was sitting here like yo what hairstyle have I not done in a while I co-washed my hair I need to put a new conditioner in the shower I co-washed my hair and then I said let me do my ponytail it's been a minute I have a curly ponytail I bought a whole bunch two years ago during the pandemic honey so I have a bunch stashed up in the closet so I'm going to put a point I'm doing a high ponytail it's up here and it's going to be curly and I think it'll be cute. So I laid my edges and everything. And I've got my towel because this gets, I put on high. So what I'm going to do is multitask because today I did get up at 5.30. So I did work out. But I didn't do my devotion or my reading. Oh, <laughs> not this thing. Flip, flip. You better, you better, you better stand up. I didn't do my devotion or my reading. I have not been doing my reading like I should. Okay, but here we are today. Praise the Lord. 
So what I'm gonna do is multitask right now and I'm going to do 30 minutes of this hair drying just to get my hair dry enough so that it lays down. The back and the middle isn't gonna be completely dry. That doesn't matter to me. I just need the front to be dry so that it looks nice, okay? So I'm gonna do this drying process while I read my devotional and also have my earpiece, have my AirPods, where are they? I have my AirPods right here. I love these things, man. They read everything out to you and they're just great. If you don't have AirPods, you need them. I know that I <laughs> used to always buy the Amazon ones. I did not know what I was missing out on, okay? I love these AirPods. So I'm gonna do this for 30 minutes while I do my devotional Oh, and read my books right here <laughs> and do my reading 30 minutes okay okay put it on high baby that's why i have this because you be trying to kill me honey i can't do it you be trying to take me out so actually the devotional that i've been doing is on the bible app so airpod here we go i love this water bottle from target it's just so cute and sleek i know i have so many it's a problem listening to the look on the bright side podcast this is my friend from college janelle b stewart she be having some good topics yo she also teaches people how to become an influencer so make sure you check out her podcast follow her on social janelle b stewart all right so here we go this is obviously not completely done it's not completely dry back here is still wet but it's good enough the sun is in my face and I can barely see. Hold on. I got color 1B. This is back when I didn't realize that my hair is actually color 2. Ugh. Anyway, I'm wearing this in the house, so. Uh, I hate when the ponytail is a different color from your hair. It just looks real dumb, you know? Anyway, this is so old, but it's looking good. Put this right up here. Okay. And there's a drawstring in the back. Tighten that a little bit and then tuck the drawstring into the situation. And I'll, if I can, I'll, I'll look and see for a link for this. I'll link it. Oh, I'm feeling cute. It's been a minute since your girls at a ponytail. Hi. Oh, it's giving La Sonrisa restaurant, baby. Oh, oh, yeah. I have been missing out. Not me acting up. I haven't done a ponytail in a minute. All right, so I do need to wrap some of the hair around the base to make it look you know what i'm saying just not like this i want to wrap some around so let's take some hair take some hair from what i guess the back <laughs> hi hold on mm, i gotta I got take some more i want that to be thick a little bit <sighs> okay all right i'm gonna wrap this three times <laughs> yes Hi. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, peekaboo. There you are. <laughs> Hi. Oh, yes. Yo. Hi. Now I see when you delete. Okay, the memory cards give me a headache. Uh, I'll link this below Target. Not my memory card. Tomorrow. It's full. It's not full. Well, maybe it is full. I'll explain why. Because I had already come in here to download the first footage, the vi all the footage from the first video. But what I did not do was format the card. If you don't format your card, but you simply delete the clips off of it, you're going to find that when you go to film and you think you have 256 gigs on your SD card, you actually don't because all the stuff you deleted is still there somehow, some way. So, huh. I had to come here and first of all, take off the two clips that I have, and then I'm going to format the SD card and then continue the video. <laughs> it's, putting, it's putting a cramp in my style right now, but here we are. 
I, I'm opening up my Amazon packages that were just left at the door. I haven't even had lunch yet. I am hungry, honey. Oh my God. Okay, so I got luggage tags. Have you, do you travel often? That's number one. Number two, because I travel so often, I don't know why up until now I have not had these kinds of luggage tags where, oh, okay, where I can put down my information and it stays on my luggage, you know, in case your luggage is misplaced, whatever, then they know who you are and where you live. I hate when I'm at the, at the, what you call, I got white so that it stands out, but my suitcase is already black, so I didn't want to get black. And then you write your info up in here. I love that it's closed, so it's not just out in the open. You have to open it up to see what's inside. It comes in a four pack. I just hate when you're standing at the gate, the check-in, whatever, and here you are trying to, do you have a pack? First of all, I don't borrow pants up. I bring my own. I pack my own stuff. But I hate that. And then here you are tomorrow, trying to grab all these, you know, paper, paper, basically. The paper ones to now be writing down your name and address. And when I do it that way, I'm doing it so quickly, it's barely even legible. I can't stand it. So finally, I'm like, hold on. How do we get these luggage tags? This makes no sense. You gotta work smarter, not harder. So I'm gonna have them on my suitcases, which you already know stay 80% packed. They stay ready. So I don't have to really get ready too much when I got somewhere to go, baby. And okay, so I just downloaded those two while I'm here and I got some more bodysuits because they're just so cute this is a v-neck bodysuit you know and I got it in black I actually got it in a few colors I got black and brown just some staples to go underneath stuff because we need to have those staples oh and this shacket I got this shacket on Amazon I get it in 2x you already know that because I like the space I like for the shacket to be huge so let's check this out oh, I think it's the same brand as my other one it's not giving oh this is some random button-down shirt no this is definitely feeling heavy so this is good cute here's what I mean so I always right click move to trash but it's not actually in the trash let me show you well it is in the trash on, on the computer but it's not in the trash in its entirety so i take out the sd card turn this on and go to menu then i click on this wrench and then form look at that see i you saw me put this stuff in the trash but when i come here it's i've used 238 gigs 238 gigabytes that's a problem if you wanted to go film on this you'd be sitting there and then you would see card full and you're like well i just started so always this is a reminder to me always format before you start filming another video otherwise you're gonna think you have space that you don't have so let me get back out of this turn it and then plug <clears throat> plug this hdmi cord back inside okay so the hdmi cord is what's connected to my laptop which is right here for my description bar. I use the Google Notes app or whatever on my computer and it's also on my phone so it transfers to every, all of my Apple devices and then I find the link, I get the affiliate link for it to build my description bar. So my description bar has affiliate links in it because that is one of the means, oops, one of the means of income. If you're smart, you're, if you're if you're an influencer and you're watching, if you're smart, you are using affiliate links, okay? We provide all this content for free. So <laughs> the least, and I mean the very least you could do is be making <clears throat> a small commission. The least you can do is to be making a small commission on the links that you provide in the description bar for your audience. So that's what I do. When I provide a link, 
usually it's an affiliate link and that's no secret we you know we work I did create a video on how I make my money so make sure you watch that if you'd like it's on my it's on my channel so now I'm getting the link from Mac paint pot soft ochre which I use a lot you would think that for the products that I use often I have the link like somewhere and I thought about doing that like just whatever's in my makeup kit just putting all those links somewhere and then copying and pasting but girl honestly this is a lot easier for me because I use magic links and I just come here and search for the actual item and then copy because either way I'd have to go through whatever list I create to find it and then copy now I don't know what eyeshadow palette I used for this video. Australia.